Hey, what's going on you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. Okay, so I'm going to bring you your guidance for this evening. It is 8.01 p.m. here in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, today has been a very chill day for me, okay? I've been sitting around watching Manifest all freaking day, y'all. Okay, so binge watching it. I started from season one and I finally made it to season four and I was like, let me get off and talk to Virgo. I hope you guys um have definitely been able to really process some things. I do feel like we're moving into an energy where we're just like, it's slowing down just a bit. So we're get we're being given the opportunity to recoup Okay, um, we're definitely being given the opportunity now to really connect with our own selves and to remember who we are, right? At the core, okay? And it's so interesting because um, I'm pulling from the Black Goddess Within deck and Andromeda is what had came out, okay? And she basically speaks about knowing your own value and owning your own story. And Andromeda basically, and I'm gonna read this to y'all real quick, but she... Um, was chained to a rock by her parents to appease the gods. Andromeda was saved by and later married the Greek hero Perseus, an Ethiopian princess who was later defied. Andromeda's image has been whitewashed over centuries and her story conflated with that of Perseus. So she implores you to, re, um, to resist being made invisible by increasing your self-worth and knowing your own value. All right. Yeah. So this is the time right now where it's all about you. OK, so um, you may not be understanding what's happening. Again, um, the messages have been kind of talking about, you know, blessings in disguise, things that may seem like it's a problem, but really it's not. OK, um, if you're going through a separation, whatever the hiccups may be right now. It's happening for a great reason and it's happening so that you can literally start to manifest this life that you desire for yourself so that you can stop being made invisible, right? Sometimes we as Virgo, and I can I can definitely agree, like we'll pull ourselves to the back of the line, okay? I know I don't be wanting to be in the forefront. I struggle, you know, with being in media. I started out in media in 2000 and five okay i started out on radio so i was doing um something with uh so they, they're local it's crooked streets radio so i started out with that me and my co-host we had the xty show so i did that um parties pop-ups everything we were in we were entertainment straight like that we had a talk show we talked about every topic um i was on 88.9 hip-hop chronicles for about a year or two that's um a, a morgan state university station and um, then we started going into YouTube and we had a little setup, like all of this stuff, like I really was being pushed. I became a professor, like <laughs> I already knew, like Spirit was like, you're supposed to be in the limelight. You're supposed to be on the forefront using your voice, even though I prefer to be in the back. Okay. I, be sorry, be, I, I, be, I can't even get it out. I prefer to be behind the scenes. Okay. So, but it's, it's not time for that no more. All right. Our Spirit team is definitely calling us to come to the forefront to shine our light, okay? So this is the time to do it now. This is why we are being um, pumped up, okay? To be like the best versions of ourselves as we can possibly be, all right? So yeah, I encourage you, do it, okay? Andromeda implores you to resist being made invisible and increase your self-worth in knowing your value, okay? So yeah, you can't be just connected to no anybody, all right? And I do feel like, you know, it's some folk from the past. It's some heartbreak that you have um, that you're still kind of like holding on to. It's lingering. It's definitely lingering, boots. It's time to release it, okay? Whoever that masculine energy was, they are definitely, I'm seeing a reverse emperor, okay? This person was a tyrant. They're very stubborn, all right, they definitely were operating from their lower self, from their ego state. They were not a reflection of you, okay? They can't determine who you are. They were projecting onto you, all right? Just remember that it had nothing to do with you. You were not, and all I keep hearing is like, you're safe. It's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault. Regardless of what happened or how long you may have stayed in a situation, it's not your fault, okay? Don't blame yourself. Forgive yourself for whatever it is that you've been through and forgive the people who have hurt you. Release it and move forward, okay? Because the universe has something very amazing for you, but it cannot be given to you if you're still holding on to the loss, to the grief, five of pentacles, right? 
to the hardship, okay? To the doubt, to the fear, release, okay? So thank you so much, you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. I'm not getting ready to go, but hit the like button, the thanks button. If you're feeling generous, I appreciate everybody who has already donated to my channel. I appreciate all my members of my channel. And thank you for new members who have signed up. I definitely love you guys. Make sure you remember to utilize your perks. If you are in the Divine Feminine members, um, my Divine Feminine tribe, remember you can connect directly with me, okay, through um, my social media accounts, whether it's Instagram or on Facebook, TikTok, whichever one you're on, okay? So remember to connect with me. That is a part of your perks, all right? Um, but yeah, I got a Virgo um, tribe too as well, okay? But look, y'all, thank you. You don't understand, like, <laughs> five, five, five is on the top, okay? Um, YouTube, my YouTube fam has definitely helped me to evolve and utilize my gifts in amazing ways. So I'm not totally like, you know, I feel like I have not been really as present as because life has been happening. Um, and things are shifting for me, definitely. I, I feel like I'm being, and I, I feel like I need to pull a light worker's card for us. I feel like I'm being called to move in a different direction. It's not necessarily saying, you know, coming away from reading, but it's more about, and I've been speaking about this for a minute, but it's more about utilizing my gifts in other ways here um, to help the collective to ascend. Thank you so much, my spirit team, for helping me with this reading. Thank you for my true gods being here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, my uh, angelic guides as well. <clears throat> and so it is. Show me this message here for Virgo. Yeah, this is what we're supposed to do is shine our light. Okay, we are the lighthouse for light workers. This is what my role is in you all story, okay, to help you guys ascend and to recognize your own gifts. Look at that. All right, so let me see. Show you the card real quick. Get it up close. And I never can say that goddamn word, y'all. But it comes out for us all the time. So let me see. I'll, I'm trying to get it. It's like I can hear it in my mind. Let me see if I can get a breakdown of it. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. It's the Virgo in me. It's like I want to say it correctly. <laughs> Alchemical. Mm. Literally. Exactly how it really sounds. <laughs> spelled. Exactly how it's spelled. Alchemical. Okay, alchemical mutation. All right, so let's look at that. It is chemistry concerned with the transmutation of matter. Okay. It's a magical process of transformation, creation. Oh, okay, cool. So basically, it says your spiritual growth is changing your mind, body, and soul. Remember I said that? I was like, I just feel like things are starting to shift, right? And, I, and it's collectively for us all because we're all kind of on the same page now where it's kind of getting like, kind of getting tired of hearing the messages of you know oh they're coming back you're getting married this this is and that no no we need some we need some real spiritual uh food for our souls okay so i know sometimes you know spirit team may drop a little tea here and there right because it keeps it interesting right because sometimes i, I swear I, I mean i swear but i i literally will turn on um readings sometimes just for the entertainment it's like watching tv but a lot of times lately i have not been able to connect um at all at all one time i advocately watch readings over and over again but yeah things are definitely starting to shift for me um and it says here it is very real it is it is helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny it is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies the process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction the body changes as light enters alchemy is catalyzed and transformation happens sometimes the appearance of the body changes there will be change in how the body feels, responds, acts, and creates. 
radiance increases lightness of being lightness of being increases if you have clairvoyant visions you will see the increase in light as though the person is actually lit up from within they are spiritual abilities become grounded in the body and the person can channel energy healing energy just as naturally as they would set the dinner table the spirit becomes a living reality in the body and the material world is experienced as an extension of the divine light this alchemy is an overpowering gift of love symptoms of this process can at times be challenging they may include headaches and other aches and pains flu-like symptoms and inexplicable and nearly overwhelming fatigue that lasts for days and then suddenly vanishes along with a surge of new energy we may also experience pinging in the ears, increased sensitivity to light or sound, hormonal imbalance and hot flushes, excessive sexual energy, mental obsessions or mood swings, aggressions, and unintentionally harsh reaction to people. If you have been experiencing any of the above and wondered if these or other unusual symptoms could be a direct result of increased spiritual energy affecting the body, then the answer is that this is very likely. You are encouraged to source whatever professional help um, to support you. Okay. T take care of your body, right? Take care of whatever it is that you're feeling. So don't just, you know, pass it off like, oh, it's just a cold or whatever, but really nurture and take care of yourself during this time because you're going through a major transformation. Okay. So also consider using the follow, following simple practices to ease away the side effects of divine alchemy taking place in your body. This simple practice includes getting regular rest, Additional sleep is a powerful way for the body and mind to heal and repair, integrate and reorganize, allow time for physical exercise, which can help release energy. OK, express if especially if you tend to feel mentally congested, take some time away from meditation, spiritual studies or discussions and energy work. Instead, simply be in nature or just rest. If you work with colors, then take a break for a short time, only working with very soft, subdued, white or colorless light. If you have a tendency to push yourself with spiritual work, learning to take time off on a regular basis on a regular occasion will help you recover more quickly and suffer less. Finally, working with cooling energy, not cold, but refreshing as a way to discharge excess heat can be extremely beneficial to the body and mind. You can do this by sitting in the shade or in a room that feels cool and relaxing or even by cooling your hands before an air conditioner or fan and then using your fingertips to transfer cool and healing energy by lighting touching by lightly touching your chest your back um your neck okay the back of your head your ears and your forehead okay so it's ways that you can literally release or relieve yourself of some of these symptoms okay just by using basic remedies okay um but you do have that divine grace and protection. You just got to simply just ask. And that's one of the main things that I'm hearing for you, Virgo, It's just ask. Ask for help with your situation. Some of you um, may have asked and you're not seeing the manifestation of your prayer. But of course, what delays the manifestation of our prayers, our thoughts, our actions, what we speak, what we feel. Okay. So remember, you got to be in alignment to manifest um, what it is that you're asking for. You got to be able to be still and to really just listen to the intuitive guidance that is coming to you um, to help you with your situation because they're, they're answers to your prayers. OK, um, and as you're going through this, these changes, you are getting the divine assistance. But again, if you're not asking, you have to ask because of your free will. Your guides will not intervene. OK, until you do. So they just literally are just sitting there waiting. All right. So. It's an invocation that's connected to this. Um, I can read it really slow for you guys so that you can repeat it after me. I'm going to try. <laughs> okay. But however, let me let me see something real quick. Um, okay. So it says, I call upon the beings that love me unconditionally and ask for divine grace, protection, information, assistance, intervention, and healing in all ways now. As I change, may my body and mind be supported and recover with divine assistance. I celebrate the alchemy 
that the light creates. And with kindness, I allow for it to unfold in my body, mind, and soul according to the guiding hand of divine love. May all those on the path of love and light be assisted to walk their path with as much joy and as little suffering as possible through my own free will and divine grace, so be it. This process is going to bring you tremendous joy, okay? Yeah, I see the tower card trying to come out. It's been a lot of sudden changes in your life. And, I, and like I said, it's like it may seem like it's a problem. You may have had quite a few injustices done against you, okay? Some things that weren't fair. With the justice card coming out in the reverse position but the universe is bringing balance here i feel like um actually recalibrating or realigning your uh direction oh look queen of wands comes in a reverse position too so let me see what's up with that tell me about this queen of wands reverse please Not how I want it to come out just yet. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. Reverse. Higher font. What I feel like this was part of the process. Whoever this Queen of Wands reverse is, so you can see it. Um, well, that could even be you and how I'm seeing it. And I feel like you may feel powerless or you may not really recognize your true uh, worth. Because, yeah, that's how I'm saying it. I don't see this as a, another person. So you may not recognize your true value and your true worth at this point, right? But you really are the queen of wands, right? Like, you're the alchemist. And you see how she's look creating fire. Like, that's you. Okay, Virgo. You, you're you not this. But everything that has happened in your life, right, with the justice card in the reverse, it makes you feel... Not as confident. Let's just put it that way. Okay. You could be anxious. Um, very anxious. Not really self-assured. Okay. But what's happening now is like you're going through these changes here so that you can recognize and see exactly who you are. Right. This journey that you're on, a higher front comes out. Um, this commitment that you have been pouring into yourself, into your process, into your calling and everything like that is actually what's changing things up here. It's like now you're choosing to embrace your journey, even what you are called to do internally, right? This is why you're going to get this breakthrough with the Ace of Swords, okay? Um, a lot of ideas are going to be coming to you, plans. You may already be receiving it, but you're getting the victory. Yeah, look, Page of Cups comes out. So you're already getting it. Some some of you may have your heads in the clouds a little bit too much. And I'm hearing you got to come back down here. Okay. Get grounded. Ground yourself. All right. Because you, you still got work to do here. Okay. All right. So the King of Cups comes out next to the Ten of Cups as well. And of course, masculine energy coming through. But when it comes to the matters of the heart, I feel like, yeah, what they're saying is that um, not even just about that. I feel like it's more about you being balanced, okay? Emotionally, spiritually, you know, because that's what the King of Cups is. They're very connected to their, um, how can I say it? They're connected to their emotions, to their intuition, okay? Their head and their heart is balanced. And that's what Spirit is saying that you should really be, all right, in order for you to get to this Ten of Cups, and, and that's your happiness, your wish fulfillment, you know, your emotional stability, contentment, things like that, okay? Um, especially if you want commitment, things of that nature, because a lot of you have come from very unhappy homes or in separation, may have had some type of domestic um, conflict, um, abuse is also what I'm hearing. You know, a lot of external factors have definitely played a role in 
uh, your story. You know, it's not directly caused by you. It's just that so happened the people you've been connected to haven't been the best. All right. Yeah. Um, the Eight of Cups in the reverse next to the Empress. And because of your destiny and who you are called to be, Virgo, 2012 on my timer. Um, yeah, I'm definitely feeling like you're still not walking away from some things. And what I'm hearing is like, it's like, I'm hearing like, what ancient pain are you holding on to, Virgo? Like, you are the creator of life, okay? You co-create here with the universe, with the divine. You're an empress. Divine feminine energy coming through off the bat. But when you don't walk away from the things that don't serve you any longer, okay, it puts you in that reverse energy where you lack the self-awareness, where you lack the spiritual growth, where you are not abundant and not manifesting, okay? So definitely, you know, um, put the past behind you. We already know what that's about, okay? Whatever it is, the abandonment issues, the failed plans, scratch that because the process is going to bring you here to, <laughs> to your wish fulfillment. That's just what it is. You know, once we get into alignment, hey, we're in alignment with the universe on top of that. So we're manifesting some great stuff into our life. And it, it don't come all at once. Of course, it can't, right? And we got to leave some stuff up to, the, up to surprise, too, is what I'm hearing. But yeah, it's not going to all come at once. But however, you're going to see the manifestation take place in your life as long as you are constantly um, growing and evolving spiritually, okay? Shift your perception in the sun. Enjoy success and happiness, right? So basically, once you shift your perception, guess what? Boom, joy, happiness, success, all of that comes to you. Ground yourself. I keep hearing that. Okay. Yeah, the magician in the reverse. Virgo, you're not powerless. Okay. You could be blocked in your creativity. Um... But frustrated because of delays, things like that. But it's because. <laughs> and what I just heard, I got a pull from somewhere. What came flash before my mind was remember your identity. What you're supposed to be remembering is that you're the freaking magician. You're the alchemist. Ah. <laughs> I know, right? That's one of those aha moments. Like, ah. you're the alchemist. That's what you're supposed to remember. I kept saying that to myself, like, what, a, what is it? Remember your identity. How do you do that? <laughs> You're a light worker. What is the angel therapy deck? Here we go. You are a light worker. So that means that you have the power to manifest your dreams. Whatever you speak, you think, you say, you feel, you bring to you. That's how powerful light workers are. And once you remember that you hold that power, think what you want comes to you. Yesterday's reading, I think it was, y'all, if you ain't check it out, go back, right? Because every day the readings add on. It's like a daggone um, series, y'all, okay? But, yeah, go back and watch, all right? Because, yeah, it, it acts, and I don't know if you guys actually thought about it yet, but it said, what is it that you really desire? What do you want? And it's going to come to you. I needed that. <laughs> Base chakra. So you may want to get grounded. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, the epiphanies is just flying all through this. Y'all know I'm Virgo too. So a lot of the, you know, my energy be all up in here too. But get grounded. I know I can't get back outside, y'all, because it's cold. It's crap. I went outside a couple of days ago, but it was kind of, you know, foggy and, and a little wet, but it was like 60 degrees here. So I took advantage of it, but I would prefer to be in some sunny, warm weather, right? But I usually go outside. I'm in a park every day. I'm walking outside somewhere where there's grass, there's trees and things like that, right? That's the best way to ground yourself. But when there's moments that you can't do that, like here is fall going into winter, um, you got to find other ways. So again, some things were named in the book, okay? Simply be in nature or rest. That's the best. But meditation, um, 
um, yoga, things like that, getting uh, acupuncture done or Reiki or something like that, gardening, okay, that'll also help. It says choose only positive thoughts to describe your situation, whether it's your home, your career, your finances, whatever it is, because your words are going to determine that outcome. So get grounded. Oh, man, something, it's so much stuff that's coming to me so quickly, y'all. It's just coming to me so fast right now. And what just hit me was a stone. Garnet, thank you. Garnet is the name of the stone. That will help you with your base chakra, okay? Parents comes out. The divine truth is that your parents internally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from any pain that's associated with the mother or father. This is where your abandonment issues stem, at, stem from. Look at that, solar plexus. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways, Virgo. Get grounded, okay? Your solar plexus could be blocked, your base chakra. I'm telling you, when it comes to you, it comes to you. And you be like overthinking it. I know I do, right? Overanalyzing it. And then it's like, that's what it was. <laughs> Stat simple. Hermit card. So go within because you got the answers already. Okay? Like honor your spiritual self. All right? That loneliness that you feel, some of you may be paranoid, you know, isolating, feeling like you're forcing the isolation, stuff like that. Whatever happened with your parents, it has affected you majorly in your now. Okay, so heal from that pain. Anything else? No. <laughs> Go on and put them down. <laughs> no, we got you. All right, let me put these up. See what else am I? I'm being called to uh, pull from real quick. But I've been. I think I said it early in the reading. I, I don't remember, but I've been binge watching manifest. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> but let me see something here. Oh. All right, put this back right here. So this is Trust Your Vibes Oracle Cards, okay? Help Virgo here when it comes to them recognizing who they are. It's not personal, boom, okay? Hmm. For them remembering their identity, help them. Vibe check. And I'm gonna read these to y'all. Give me a second, give me get feel like I need to get a, one or a couple more cards. Pray, what I tell you, ask. Call on your healer, guys. You need your team. Yo, you can't do this alone. You need your team. It's never personal. To build up further immunity against negative vibrations and psychic attacks. Oof, I already know. <laughs> and elevate the degree of good vibrations coursing through your life, take nothing you encounter in your life personally. As tempting as it may be to interpret negative behavior projected towards you as personal, it isn't. And I spoke about that earlier, right? With these, with your ex, friend, whatever, lover, spouse, they were projecting. You can't internalize that. They, they didn't feel good about themselves. So they wanted you to feel like that too. Okay. But it's all good. Forgive yourself for going through, you know, what you went through for that long period of time. Boom. Take nothing personal. It's our egos that's taking it personal. In fact, what other people feel or do has nothing to do with you. It's a reflection of their own consciousness, not yours. By choosing not to do this, you stay tuned in to what's true and important for you. Being impersonal doesn't mean that you're being unloving or unkind. It actually allows you to be more loving and tolerant towards those acting out because you're not engaged in defending yourself against psychic attacks. 
It takes you to higher ground and it is a powerful form of psychic protection, causing everything unpleasant to slide away rather than stick to your oar and ruin your good vibes. 3003 on my timeline. So remember, no matter how passionately you feel like defending yourself as Virgo, you know we come for you coming for me, okay? <laughs> hey, you don't got to. Let it go. Relax and focus on your good vibes only. Don't let nobody pull you out your alignment. Vibe check. As a sixth sensory person, it is important that you pay keen attention to the tone and level of vibration surrounding you and seek to remain in good vibes. Start to rate your vibes by how they, are, how they affect you in all situations on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being positive vibes that leave you feeling energetic, light, hearted, relaxed, and one being negative vibes that leave you feeling drained, uneasy, insecure, and not yourself. Scan all situations with a vibe check from the restaurant you enter. You know how you enter somewhere or you with somebody, you like, mm, it don't feel right. Like the energy feel all. Trust that, okay? It ain't right. When it comes down to buying a car, when you consider buying something, whatever it is, um, paying for something, like you can do it for any occasion. Okay, because you want to be able to feel good. You need to feel good vibes, all right? If it's not, then you got to move to higher ground. You got to release it, okay? You don't have to explain your vibes to trust them. A good vibe is a good one and a bad vibe is a bad one. Feeling it is reason enough to trust it. Aim to keep your experience at a seven or above on the good vibe scale. And if you're in less than a seven situation and cannot move to higher ground, use other tools in this deck to protect and strengthen your aura as you can. Okay. So even if you're in a situation like sometimes work, you be stuck in these situations at work and you, you have to stay in it because you need the money, right? So you're going to have to really do the necessary things to kind of keep yourself grounded and keep your vibes high. Put yourself in a protective bu bubble, honey. I do it all the time. I place white light all around me and my family, okay? All right? But I know. I get it. Um, I, I feel that vibe. I get it all the time. Like, I had a work meeting today. Instantly, my energy, like, <sighs> and I'm on there just like, <laughs> looking just like dry as hell, right? But it does that every time, you know? And I know it's off, but it's my job. I need the money, okay? <laughs> Just what it is, right? So I'm trying to find that peace and balance until I can be able to move to higher ground, all right? But yeah, vibe check is not personal. Call on your healer, guys, and pray, okay? Pray. <sighs> yeah, your angels are waiting for you. Your guys are literally like sitting by waiting to help you. I'm being told to read this one. So hold on one second. Oh. Although you may be challenged with physical, emotional, or psychic imbalances at this time, do not fear. You have the team of divine healer guys committed to helping you. Turn your fears and concerns over to them and ask them to eliminate disson dissonance and disease in your body, your mind, and spirit, whether known or unknown. So thank you, angelic guides, for eliminating any dissonance, disease, psychic attacks, negative projections, whatever. Anything that's trying to attack our bodies, our minds, and our spirit, whether we know it or whether we don't know it. Help us with our health. We ask that our healer guides work on our bodies and on those parts of us that are not feeling too great. Thank you for helping our family members and friends as well. Okay, you can ask your guys to join with you, all right? And even to join with your family members and friends, healer guides. So we ask that our healer guides join with our loved ones, healer guides, to restore them to good health, whether mentally, physically, spiritually. We ask for help and trust your guys and follow their lead okay they work in many ways but above all they work with you to help you they don't do the job of healing you alone but they assist you in taking a proactive role in your soul's well-being and your body's strength and vitality you'll know you're on the right track by the ease and grace with which things flow to you 
That's how you know when you're in alignment. You ever, you know, not be thinking about nothing, you chilling, you just feeling good, and boom, something amazing happens. It's like you're attracting that to you. When you feel like shit, you negative, and you being, you know, evil, what happens? It seems like everything is falling apart, right? You see how energy works, okay? Remember your identity. <laughs> you're the alchemist, Virgo. <laughs> Look, y'all. Look at the detail box below this video. I ask that you go to um, me and my son's page and subscribe, please. We are sharing his story, his testimonies, his journey um, through that YouTube page. And we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers. God has definitely instructed me and him. And we are supposed to show the world who God is. It's through his testimonies. Okay. Through his story that we will be able to get that message out. Um, so please, I encourage you, you know, thank you so much if you already done it to subscribe to that channel. You can cut the notification bell off if you don't want to be notified. But however, just hitting the subscribe button helps a lot. Thank you so much. Check out our latest video that we did. We're just having dinner, having some talk, um, small talk. Um, my son asked a question on there. So if you guys can leave your opinions, I definitely appreciate you. Um, and if you want a personal reading, most definitely look in the detail box below this video. You will see my um, website link. Okay. I will never message any of you um, asking to read your energy booths. Okay. So use discernment because I got a lot of people out here who have made fake pages of my Instagram and my TikTok. Okay. So I don't want y'all to be scammed in any kind of way. Please use discernment when you accept follow requests from anybody, okay? Because this is happening to quite a few um, readers across the board, y'all. So thank you so much again for hitting that like button. I love you. Peace.